Hello and welcome back to the Galley of the Sun. So today we're going to make up some chacroute garnet. It is a French dish. Now, full disclosure. So we went to the meat store and we saw that for the first time they had skin off pork belly, had a big tub of them. Very excited, very good price. Grabbed that pork belly, chucked it in the uh, shopping cart, and away we went. Only to get home and realize it was skin on pork belly. Now, if you're taking an entire pork belly, about a 15 pound slab of meat, and trying to remove the skin from that with household tools, it's a lot like trying to text with boxing gloves on. So, I had to search through all the recipes and figure out what are we doing with this 15 pounds of skin on pork belly. Now today, we're gonna to take that skin off, but because I have a two pound slice and it's pretty thin, it should be relatively easy to get that off of there. Chacroute Garnet, uh, it is a French dish. It is very close to one of my favorite dishes, my beloved potatoes and Polish sausage. Uh, in that recipe, we have beer. Well, we're going French today, so it's gonna have wine. As I did say, it comes from France, but it comes from Northern France near the border with Germany. So there are some German staples in there. We're gonna have some smoked sausage and we're gonna have some sauerkraut. We're using the Instant Pot today. So if you go and look for a recipe for chacroute garnet, there is no specific recipe. Um, it's sort of a mix of things, but there's certain things that it always has in it. It always has white wine, which we're going to add today. It has juniper berries. It has peppercorns. It has bay leaves. Uh, and then some type of smoked meat and sauerkraut. So all those things are going in. As I said before, we're cooking today with the Instapot. But what I prefer to use is my Ninja. It's a combination of Instant Pot and air fryer. We're not using that air fryer feature today, but I'm using that because it is so much easier to clean and it's a little bit bigger than my Instant Pot. Without further ado, let's get it going. So the first thing we're gonna do is make a satchel. I've got a couple, probably way bigger than I need, but uh, we live to excess here. A Couple pieces of cheesecloth here. And in that cheesecloth, I'm gonna put the spices. I got here in my grubby little well-washed paw, three peppercorns. So those are going in. Then our juniper berries. Could not find these at any of the local grocery stores, so I had to Amazon it. That's why planning ahead is so important. So if you do need that weird thing that you can't find, or sometimes it's not a weird thing. I spent an entire afternoon in Wichita, Kansas looking for fresh oregano. Wichita, Kansas is a fresh oregano free zone. I don't know why, but it is. If you make your plan early, then you can figure out if you can't find it, 99 times out of 100, you can find it on Amazon. So there's our three, three juniper berries. In this satchel is also going two bay leaves. You know, those are sort of dinky, so I'm gonna put a third one in there. Got our three bay leaves. And two whole cloves. And last but not least, two sprigs of thyme. We take our satchel. Well, we take our flat sheet now and we satchelize it, which is totally different than scandalizing it. Don't do that, not with your food. Gather that all up. This may be one of the ugliest satchels in YouTube history, but that's okay. Now I got a couple pieces of butcher twine here. I'm gonna tie two knots, wrap around twice, pull that puppy tight, get a square knot in it. All right. Second one. I like a very secure satchel. Okay, and our satchel is ready. We'll set that aside. Next thing we're gonna get into is the meat. So, I got four good sized homemade kielbasa sausages here. I normally package six, uh, used a couple of them in the Kaiser Burger video that we made a few weeks ago. Give it a shot, turned out well. So these I'm just gonna cut into bite sized chunks. We're gonna cut those at an angle so it looks party party. 
because there ain't much better than a pretty sausage. Wash our paws and then set that aside. All right, so now we got our pork belly. We're gonna cut this into bite-sized chunks. So as I said, today we're gonna cut that skin off and discard it. But don't worry, that skin can make some incredible stuff like crackling. We will be using skin on pork belly in some future videos. Cause I said before, I got 15 pounds of it I have to use up. So I'm gonna cut it like this and then take those skins off in decent sized hunks. There we go. Yeah, the way we're cooking today, the pressure cooker in instant pot mode is not going to get that tough skin soft enough or crispy enough either way to really enjoy it. So that's why we're getting rid of it. And away with the skins. Now we're going to take that pork belly freshly de-skinned and cut it into bite-sized chunks and chuck it in this bowl here. All right, wash our cutting board, wash our paws, wash our knife, and move on. All right, next we're gonna get our onion diced up and get that set aside. Now we get our garlic minced. Mmm, garlic. Ooh, I, ooh, I. Or if you speak French, oui, oui. All right, last two things we gotta do. Get an apple diced up, take the sticker off first, and wash it. Don't wash the sticker, wash the apple. These slices here don't have to be pretty at all because that apple is pretty much going to disintegrate in this. All right, last thing we got to prep is getting about six Yukon Gold potatoes diced up into bite sized chunks. All right, all the prep work's done. Um, the shredded cabbage, I cheated. I got uh, shredded cold slaw, uh, angel hair without the sauce on it. So got that taken care of. And a little bit of leftover sauerkraut from the Kaiser burger. Again, watch that video, it was fantastic. And I have some more over to the side. Now it's time to put it all together in the Instant Pot. If you are entertained by all this nonsense, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and if there's anything that you'd like to see us cook, leave it in the comments and we'll give it a shot. All right, now it's time to get cooking. We're going to sear off our pork belly. So we're gonna get some bacon grease in there. Because after all, this pork belly was destined to be bacon. I just grabbed the wrong stuff. All right, so we're gonna add our pork belly to the Instant Pot, get it browned, and then take it back out. Gonna leave behind some of that delicious fond stuff, which I'm very fond of. Got the sizzle. Let that go for a little bit when I wash my bowl. Okay, we're just gonna let that go for two or three minutes, then we'll start stirring it. But I want to get it a little bit browned on all sides. Ah, the smell is incredible. As we wait, it's a perfect time to partake in some uh, brown sugar bourbon. Alrighty, pork out, onions in.
leave behind as much of that oil as we can. We're going to cook these onions until they're translucent. All right, the onions there. And with the garlic. About 30 seconds to a minute until that incredible garlic aroma permeates your entire kitchen. We're there, so now all the rest of the ingredients go in. And with the wine. And do not use cooking wine. Don't do it. Just don't. If you wouldn't drink it, don't put it in your food. Taters, precious. The apples. The sausage. The cabbage. The pork belly. The sauerkraut. Give that all a stir. Now we slap on the lid, make sure that the lid is set to seal, and then we're gonna cook this at high pressure for about 20 minutes. All right, so she's done. Now we let her set for about 10 minutes, and then we take the switch to vent, and it'll be time to test for salt, and then eat. First, dispose of the satchel, and we'll give it a stir. Oh, smells incredible. Give it a test for salt. Holy shit, that's hot. That is delicious, but it does need some salt. So um, I keep salt and pepper mixed together for just this purpose. So we'll give it a good pinch here. Get that mixed in. It's time to serve. All right. Got to bite a little bit of pork belly there. A little bit of uh, potatoes, plenty of sauerkraut. Mm. The pork belly's tender, which is what you want to get to with the pressure cooking. Absolutely fantastic. My favorite comfort food, which we will be cooking later, uses potatoes, Polish sausage, a bunch of seasonings, and beer. My absolute favorite. This is damn close. If not, maybe better. So give it a try. Hope you enjoyed what you saw today. Thank you very much, and thank you for watching Galley of the Sun.